Hello everybody, my name is Edgar and I'm with the Bain Group. And today I'm going to show you how you can create an approval flow in a PAR Automate. In today's video, we'll be going over approval actions, how to set up an approval flow, and also testing our approval flow at the end. Approval actions in PAR Automate are a great way to automate a process that goes through multiple people and streams. So let's see how we can create one for ourselves. All right, to create our approval flow, we'll be starting off with an instant cloud flow. We'll just call this um, approval example. We'll select the manual trigger for now. Click create. Now that we're here, we'll click on the plus and we'll select start and approval. So here we have the approvals actions. We'll click see more. So the one we want to do is start and wait for an approval since we want to start one and then wait for someone's response so we'll click on this one oh this is creator connection we'll just sign us in and now we'll select our approval type so for this situation we just need um one person to approve so we'll just do uh, approve and reject first to respond but you can also do um everyone must approve if you're have if you're um asking multiple people to respond to your approval for the title of our approval, let's just say a PTO request for this example. Assigned to, um, we'll do Alex for now. Okay, I have his email, so I have it there. Details, this is just part of the email. You don't, we don't need to add anything here, but we'll just add example so we can see on the approval email. Item link, so if you're connecting this with a SharePoint item, you can just add this here so the user can see what they're approving. Also, the description as well. Um, enable notifications as to notify the, the approver that there's a new approval. So we just click yes. And then reassignment is when the user receives the approval notice that they're able to reassign it to someone else if they wish to. Okay, now this is all set up. Close that and go back. Now we'll do, an, uh, we'll do a condition. I'll explain that in a second. So this is going to help us determine if um, if the approval is um, accepted, it'll go to true. And if it's rejected, it'll go to false. So we want to send an email on both sides. One, if true, so if approved, it'll send uh, an email to the, to the user that their PTO has been approved. But if it's rejected, it'll go over to the false since it wasn't approved. And I'll send them an email that states that their PTO was rejected. So let's do that. But first, let's set up our condition. So on the left side, we'll do if. And we'll select that. Um, let's see here. Select the outcome. There we go. Outcome is equal to approved outcomes equal to approved and then if that's true we'll go green side if it's false we'll go right side yes okay cool so now let's create our emails so if the pto is approved you want to send an email to let the user know that it was approved so let's get an outlook action see more just send an email Where is it? Here you go. Send an email. Just create a connection outlook real quick. And there we go. For right now, we'll just add this email, but we could use a uh, use dynamic content there if you're collecting information from like a SharePoint list or something like that. Well, the PTO request has been approved. Been approved. And that's it. So in the condition, if it's true, I'll send this email out. And then for the opposite side, we do the same thing, send an email. But this time, since it's false, we'll put it was rejected. So let's add. PTO request. 
ejected. Eject. See, as easy as that, we just create our flow. Pretty simple. Just a few actions, and now we have a working flow. Let's save this. And then we'll get to testing, see how it works. Alrighty, now that we have completed our flow, let's start testing this. So in order to start testing, we'll click on the test icon in the top right. Then we'll click on manually and then test. And then we'll click on run flow. So this will start our flow. We'll click done. Then now we see that the flow is triggered and then it's creating the approval. So it'll take a couple minutes for this approval to reach our Alex account, which is our recipient. So we'll see email pop up here. So let's just wait on that. Okay, our email has arrived. So here's the, the, the approval email that was created by the flow. So now Alex has the option to either approve or reject this PTO request. For this example, we'll click on approve and submit. And now it mentions that the action is complete. And then we have also received an email that our PTO request has been approved. And then here's the little email body that we submitted. So there you go. That's how to test the flow and that's how it works. Thank you again for joining me on this tips and tricks video. If you found this video helpful, please hit the subscribe button and we'll see you on the next time. Bye-bye.